In today's video we will reveal how Arcadia performed an incredible trick, which involved solving a case in which pirates were murdered. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Arcadia started off their performance by saying that he prepared this performance by studying up on the history of Penn and Teller, and he found something amazing about them. He claimed that their ancestors or doppelgangers were pirates. Your exact doubles were in fact pirates. He then invited Allison to join him for the performance and handed her the wooden box he was holding. He then displayed two old posters that had images that looked very much like Penn and Teller themselves. Arcadia said that one day, both of these pirates were found dead. And the killer was never found. Found dead. The killer was never found. But according to his research, he found a wanted poster of the prime suspect that looked very much like Allison. Wanted poster of the prime suspect. He said that for some reason her pirate name had been erased by history. So she has to make up her own pirate name. Your pirate name has somehow been erased. You have to make up your own. Red Bandit. Red Bandit. Which Arcadia then wrote on top of the poster. He then said that something else was missing, which was the reward if someone was to catch her. But something else is missing here. There must have been a reward for the capture. Which he then wrote down himself on the bottom of the poster. He then said that one clue was left on the crime scene, which was the actual murder weapon, which Allison had been holding on to the entire time. And it was the actual murder weapon, which you've been holding on to this entire time. He then opened the wooden box that he had handed over to Allison and took out a pistol. Arcadia Den said that at the night of the murder, the assassin cocked the pistol and fired the gun, which he handed over to Allison to pull the trigger. Once Allison had pulled the trigger, he said the murderer left three proofs behind that could lead to her identity. He took a magnifying glass out of his pocket and said the first proof was fingerprints. The fingerprints! Proof number two was that the assassin had a tattoo on her right hand, matching the symbol that was on the pistol, which was a skull and crossbones. Tattoo on her right hand, matching this symbol on the pistol. And Allison also had a tattoo of skull and crossed bones on her right hand. And finally, proof number three is that Arcadia happened to know that the pirates of the day considered their guns so precious, that they often mark them, so that they can be identified if they were lost or stolen. That they often marked them so they could be identified if they were lost or stolen. And he then confirmed with Allison that there is no way he could have known the name. Allison had named her pirate because she made that name up. And amazingly, the gun was marked with Allison's made up name on it. Which he asked Allison to feel that it was in fact engraved deeply into the metal. Spoiler alert. If you accidentally clicked on this video and don't want to know how such tricks work, I will give you 5 seconds to click off this video but if you consider magic as a puzzle then stay tuned. Now without further ado, let's get down to how this trick works. We will break the trick into two phases. In the first phase, we will reveal how Allison got the tattoo of the skull and crossed bones on our right hand. And in the second phase, we will reveal how Arcadia was able to predict Allison's made-up name and have it engraved on the pistol. Now before I get down to the reveal, I want to give a quick shout-out to my wonderful patrons for supporting my work. Their support is the reason I am motivated to upload more regularly. Let's start by discussing the first phase. In the first phase, after he had Allison pull the trigger, he said that the murderer had left three evidences in which the first evidence was the fingerprints. The fingerprints! The second evidence was a tattoo on the right hand. Tattoo on her right hand, matching this symbol on the pistol. And the third evidence was that gun was marked with the pirate's name. That they often marked them so they could be identified if they were lost or stolen. And now before I reveal the method, let's see what Penn had to say about his performance. You've taken an ash trick and done a really much newer version of it. You can see that tattoo trick that Arcadia did. Penn was referring to that trick as an ash trick. The ash trick is actually a classic of magic. I will briefly explain what happens in the ash trick and how to perform it to help you understand how he did the tattoo trick. 
Basically, in an ash trick, a spectator is asked to close his fist. The magician then takes a small amount of ash in his hands and rubs it, such that it completely vanishes into the palm of the magician's hand. Once the ashes vanish from the palm of the magician's hand, he asks the spectator to open his closed fist. Amazingly, the ash that vanished from the magician's hand had appeared inside the spectator's closed fist without going near the spectator, or asking the spectator to open his fist during the entire trick. Well, the secret behind this trick is actually pretty clever. So basically the magician is going to hold on to a small amount of ashes on his fingers and keep his hands hidden towards his side, you are then going to ask the spectator to hold both of their hands out. With the excuse of holding their hand, you're simply just going to stick the ash from your fingers right inside the palm, and then ask them to close their fist. From this classic trick, you can get the concept of something already had taken place, before the actual effect happened. I will now reveal how Arcadia managed to get the tattoo onto Allison's right hand. It was right at this moment when Arcadia was holding on to the wooden box, right underneath the wooden box in his left hand he was holding on to a stamp with a skull and crossed bones on it. At this moment you can notice that his left hand is still under the box. And while he's basically instructing Allison as to how to position her hands, he places his left hand right under Allison's right hand and you can notice a slight glimpse of it here. Also take note, the producers of the show always try to cover up such messy work. This is one of those occasions that the producers once again, have tried to avoid exposing the trick. If you think about it, why was it at this moment that the producers had to edit the scene from showing Arcadia, to all of a sudden showing Pan and Teller? You can even see that Pan and Teller are neither saying anything, nor reacting, so it does not even make sense as to why they would cut the clip just to show Pan and Teller's face. If you have made it this far into the video, be sure to hit the like button, it really supports the channel. Also be sure to subscribe, I would really appreciate it, due to the time and effort I put into my videos. If you want to see more and more uploads, please support me on Patreon for a single dollar per month. I would really appreciate it wholeheartedly. Now let's get back to the explanation. Now let's discuss the second phase of the performance, in which Arcadia had already predicted what made up pirate name Allison was going to think of, and had engraved it on the metal plate. Let's make some logical deductions as to how Arcadia could have predicted that Allison was going to say the name Red Bandit. The first logical guess that comes to mind is that Arcadia had somehow forced the word Red Bandit onto Allison. But you can see right at this moment here, when he asks Allison to name any made-up name, you have to make up your own. Uh, Red Bandit. Red Bandit. She randomly comes up with that name, and it genuinely was a free choice. Since it was genuinely a free choice, we are only left with one option. Now before I reveal the method as to how Arcadia performed this trick, let's see what Penn had to say about the performance. Used a verbal, very clever verbal lie. You can see Penn mentioned about a verbal lie was perceived two different ways, one by the person on stage and by the audience. And he further says that the verbal lie is perceived in two ways. One way is perceived by the person on stage, and the second way is perceived by the studio audience. What Penn here is referring to is, the moment Arcadia asked Allison to confirm that there was an engraving of the name she made up. According to Penn's statement he is saying that Arcadia was actually lying an engraving into the metal, deeply into the metal of the gun. Yes! By lying, pen means that the engraving although can be technically called engraving, but the engraving isn't on a metal, rather, what you see here, is actually a silver colored leather, which is commonly used to make wallets. Arcadia simply used a pointed tip to write on it. It only creates the illusion of a metal engraving, when in fact it was not metal at all. Therefore Arcadia was basically trying to fool Penn and Teller by making them think that it was engraved on a metallic plate. When in reality, Penn had already caught on to the verbal lie Arcadia was using, in which he was claiming that it was engraved deep inside a metal, well, since we have caught on to a major portion of the trick. The only question is, exactly at which moment did he write Allison's randomly made up name? Well, you can see right here at this moment. Right after he wrote Allison's name on the top portion of the poster, he actually did a clever misdirection, in which he acted as if he was writing at the bottom of the poster, when in fact, he was writing on the silver-colored leather piece the entire time. The words 1000 doubloons were actually already written on the poster, 
The poster is actually gimmick to hide the bottom section of it. To support my argument, I want you to take note of this the lower section of the poster. If you observe it closely, you can notice that there is actually a piece of another poster covering up the bottom portion, which means Arcadia is actually holding on to four posters. Out of which two are the ones he showed with Pan and Teller's face on it. The third is Allison's poster and the fourth is a gimmick, which looks something like this. So, basically, you can see from the diagram that the poster of Allison can be pushed inside this small sleeve at the bottom, kind of like the sleeve used in folders. So, right before he showed that he had apparently written 1000 doubloons on the poster. He actually pulled Allison's poster out of the sleeve. Now that Arcadia had written the word red bandit on the silver colored leather piece, he was holding it in his left hand, which you can notice as he keeps his fingers closed. And even when he's holding on to the gun in his left hand, he keeps his fingers closed. Until the moment he sticks the leather which has a metallic strip on one end with magnet onto the pistol. If you liked what you saw be sure to hit the like button and feel free to comment which reveal you want to see next. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.